In this video, Medicare Informatics would like to share information about how to quickly identify a hierarchical condition category, HCC, from diseases condition and its associated diagnosis codes. The ICD-10 CMCMS HCC crosswalk is used to map ICD-10 diagnosis codes to hierarchical condition categories. All HCCs are defined by diagnosis codes, typically chronic conditions. Not all ICD-10 codes are mapped to a category. Only diagnosis codes that are usable in predicting costs are included. A code can map to more than one HCC as ICD-10 CM contains combination codes. One code can represent two diagnoses or a diagnosis with a complication. Diagnoses are grouped into condition categories with similar Medicare predicted expenditures and those that are clinically related. In CMS HCC Model V24, 2020, there are almost 9,700 ICD-10 CM codes that map to one or more of the 86 HCC codes. Dot roughly 13% of ICD-10 CM codes that highly correlate to health status and cost are mapped to 86 HCC codes. Here is an example, ICD-10 CM code E1152 maps to two HCCs. 18 and 106 for Model V24 CMS HCC and R payment HCCs for CMS HCC Model V24 for 2020 payment year. In this situation, you would use all two and their corresponding coefficients, if you do not already have these HCCs in the patient's profile, to calculate the RAF. Use the Risk Adjustment Search tool to quickly identify an HCC assignment. Enter the ICD-10 CM code or the diagnosis condition for results in four risk adjustment models the CMS HCC PACE or ESRD Category V21, the CMS HCC PACE or ESRD Category V22, the CMS HCC Category V23 or V24, and the RX HCC Model V05. The CMS HCC model predicts medical expenditures covered under Parts A and B Medicare. For payment year 2021, for non-PACE risk scores, CMS will blend 75% of the risk score using diagnoses from encounter data with 25% of the risk scores using diagnoses from RAPS. PACE risk scores will continue to be calculated based on diagnoses from RAPS, encounter data, and FFS in equal measure with no weighting. For Part C non-PACE risk scores for payment year 2021, 2020 dates of service, CMS will use a new model that incorporates condition counts to calculate the risk score using diagnoses from encounter data, RAPS inpatient data, and FFS. We refer to this model as the V24 model. CMS will continue to calculate the RAPS-based risk score with the 2017 CMS HCC model, V22, using diagnoses from RAPS and FFS. For ESRD non-PACE risk scores for payment year 2021, CMS will use the 2020 ESRD model to calculate risk scores with diagnoses from encounter data, RAPS inpatient data, and FFS. CMS will use the 2019 ESRD model to calculate risk scores using diagnoses from RAPS and FFS. CMS will blend with 75% of the risk score calculated with the 2020 ESRD models with 25% of the risk score calculated with the 2019 ESRD models. For Part D non-PACE risk scores for payment year 2021, CMS will use the 2020 RxHCC V05 model to calculate both the encounter data-based and the RAPS-based risk scores. Encounter data-based risk scores will be calculated with diagnoses from encounter data, RAPS inpatient data, and FFS. RAPS-based risk scores will be calculated using RAPS and FFS diagnoses. Hierarchical condition categories are sets of medical codes that are linked to specific clinical diagnoses. HCCs reflect hierarchies among related disease categories. Hierarchies are applied to these condition categories based on disease severity so that risk scores reflect the most severe and costly category of a condition. If a patient is diagnosed with more than one chronic condition in a hierarchy, only the highest or most severe chronic condition in the hierarchy will be reported as an HCC. A great example of this is the diagnosis of diabetes. There are three HCCs for diabetes, 
HCC-17 diabetes with acute complications, HCC-18 diabetes with chronic complications, and HCC-19 diabetes without complications. HCC-17 is the highest category in the hierarchy for diabetes, as it includes the most clinically severe diagnoses related to diabetes. Diagnoses of type 1 DM with ketoacidosis without coma and type 2 DM with hypoglycemia with coma are examples of diagnoses in HCC-17. Another example of an HCC hierarchy are diagnoses of cancer and metastatic cancer. There are five HCCs for cancer and metastatic cancer diagnoses, HCC-8 metastatic cancer and acute leukemia. HCC-9 lung and other severe cancers, HCC-10 lymphoma and other cancers, HCC-11 colorectal, bladder and other cancers and HCC-12 breast, prostate and other cancers or tumors. HCC-8 is the highest category within this hierarchy. A patient with colon cancer with metastasis to the liver will have HCC diagnoses within both HCC-11 and HCC-8 but only the diagnosis within HCC-8 for the metastasis will impact risk adjustment. Use the CMS HCC category tool to quickly view the disease's hierarchies and the associated diagnosis codes of a specific HCC. If the disease group is listed in the HCC column, then drop the HCCs listed in this column disease hierarchies. You can view all the diagnosis codes associated with a selected HCC category by changing the value of performance year and HCC category. Please contact us if you would like to implement the risk adjustment score calculation solutions in your environment. Thank you for listening.